Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Hope you had a good day in the market. January 24th, it's Tuesday. We're gonna look at some technical analysis. We'll look at SPY, some of the futures, options, trades, uh, GME, BBBY, uh, Cosmo rallied today, all sorts. Sub up, like up, comment down, happy money sticks around. You can follow us on Twitter at happymoneyyt, as well as our Discord server you can get on. Both those are linked in the description. Um, yeah, where are we at? So, SPY very flat today. Uh, they basically started off with flash crashing. Not really, but it was weird. Lots of like 80 something tickers were halted. Just seemed like the market on 80 something tickers didn't really get started. Um, but I guess there were trades that printed. So, technicalities, glitches, I'm not sure. Uh, but that's the way the market started. It kind of scared it off in the morning, I think. We were kind of dumping a bit here and then pretty volatile morning, huge red candle here. This is before the manufacturing data. Uh, and then we kind of rallied out of there and have just been in a small, tight, choppy range ever since. So yesterday uh, I got kind of bullish because of the breakout of 400 and let's see, I can't remember what happened with my futures. Uh, let's see, I was long here. I closed them. Um, I think I closed them actually for a loss some, somewhere in the morning. Sometimes it's better just not even look at the morning. It's just it's just there to scare you and be volatile. Um, but I did trade some futures through this chop. Didn't didn't make anything, just lost because, yeah, directionless and difficult for me to trade this. Um, the big, big news was that there's no news on GME. Not no news, but no big price action, no big move on our Tuesday. Possible it's still coming later. Um, they're later this week, I guess. Chart still looks pretty bullish. Like everything looks bullish on as far as TA goes. Uh, other than this RSI divergence. So that is kind of a bearish reversal signal, but today's not over. Got about 45 minutes to close. Um, if it rallies up, then Maybe it could, maybe it could pull that RSI up, get us out of that divergence. But if it doesn't, then that is still there. And the same thing is on the spy, this RSI divergence. But spies, it will not be a divergence if we close high enough here. So it's just right on the edge. The market's really right on the edge of like a rally or a dump. <laughs> Seems crazy, right? But it is. It's like right on that trend, that long-term trend from whole year the highs and then but then it also just broke that it just broke that trend and then just broke this su support level or this resistance level of like that 400 range um so yeah a lot a, a lot could be moving in the next little bit not a whole lot of data coming out we do have microsoft earnings after hours which is pretty big and that should move the market uh not sure which direction yet but uh gme yeah i'm Gonna be closing some positions. Some of my calls. I opened up calls today, quite a few of them, 22 strike. And just let Theta burn them. I opened them in the morning stupidly, but I liked I liked it and got excited and not supposed to buy them when it's exciting. But I thought this was today was maybe the exception. Um since it is T plus two from Opex last week. And so I bought when I was excited, but more so in the morning. And today was just a great day to Theta farm actually. The opposite of what I did. So I paid back the farm today, which is okay. Uh, BBY had the gap up. Very nice, up 9% so far today. Uh, gapped up higher, but kind of melted down, consolidated. Still looks nice though. Bullish MACD, green over the nine. It does have this kind of inverted head and shoulders here on the hourly. So it might be finding a bottom and bouncing. Um, yeah, we'll see on that one. Cosm ripped up today. BIAF, both of these had big moves. We've we've been watching this a little bit. This day we talked about it. Uh, and then it just broke out of that high today. And BIAF, this one actually I got an IPO, but I've I've since sold it. Ironet had a big move. Avia, um, some random ones. And our GME went went went. So. Yeah, it, since 
this is appearing that we're not in this zone here and it's not confirmed at this you know we could start to get action tomorrow or the next day but with it not being today I'm, I'm less less probable of it uh i think we might be in an area like this of just consolidation maybe chop consolidation before maybe new lows or testing the, the previous lows we'll have to see um at this point just the ta wise we're not looking at previous historic chart history um it's still bullish other than this this r side divergence kind of it's not very big, but that does kind of suck for the upside. Um, but yeah, so looks like might be coming down chopping if we don't rally soon, very soon, like in the next 45 minutes, after hours, pre-market, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> but I'm going to reduce some exposure uh, of these options I have on it. Yeah, they got they sucked me dry. Yeah. And my shares, I'm going to keep the shares. Uh, that's an easy one to hold for a bit to see if we do start to get a move tomorrow or later this week. Uh, I might start selling some cover calls on them or maybe just close them. But uh, kind of decided on that at this point. Not a whole lot. Yeah, that's pretty much pretty much all I did today. Bought these 23s, 22s and just wrote them, wrote them down. And then on the futures, yeah, trade through there. Didn't trade it very well. I mean, it's just kind of choppy. Not a great trade. My net gas was actually doing good. It gapped up pre-market and then sold off and stopped me out. So that volume yesterday on UNG. Yeah, I'm not sure where that's going to go. But yeah, kind of a letdown today. Oh, well, we'll see. Day's not over. But that's what I got. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on Discord. Peace out.